go here. I'll pop into existence right here. Slime start propagating. I've seen some explosions out there already. Those explosions are good. I think we I think we finished this floor casting only one cast of slime form. Good lord. Pineapple bacon pizza, a fine choice. Enchantment circle. Mana potion, ice circle with nothing else. God. Let's disrupt. Fire or holy conjuration. The chosen spells summon minion randomly gain a holy or fire bolt attack. Eh. Ruby Heart with two mana potions. Eh. I'm gonna portal key. Dark circle. And then I'm gonna disrupt again. Okay, lightning circle. Conjuration circle. Ruby Heart with a disruptor. Oh. How unlucky. Like, an arcane circle is really all I want right now. Awful. Awful. What a waste. Guess I'll get another disruptor here. Not a bad layout. Some jalapenos. I want to start wherever I can get decent amount of dogs. And you know what? Destroying this immediately sounds great too, so let's pop in right here. Slime form right away. Alright, that problem's been dealt with pretty fast. I'll start making my way toward the corner. really like to destroy that spawner there. I still think when people are like, what would you compare this game to? I still think Gauntlet is like a very close comparison. Just because the enemy spawners, it's a level with monsters and your job is to finish the floor, kill the monsters, kill the spawners, move on. It's just turn base now. Turn-based and very tactical, with a lot more build variety. Nice. Bone splinter. Not gonna help me, right? Darker fire yet? Lightning or holy? Ugh! Might disrupt these. How many mana potions? I have 11 mana potions. I'm really fine on mana potions at this point. Except Gauntlet's fun. How dare you? You play this game too. Whenever an enemy takes arcane damage, deal that much lightning damage. It's up to two enemy units in a six tile burst. I mean, Crackle Void's a great take for six. <laughs> Mana potion portal key. Ah, oh, I'm gonna disrupt. I got it, I'll use it. Eye circle. No one uses eyes, come on. I have an energy shield. Two stone shields might not be a bad idea. Dragon horn. 
Arcane circle! Goodness me. And it's not a bad floor. I'm gonna start right up here. Oh my god, my dogs also get the shield. I never knew that. I can see the lightning damage being redistributed every time I cast my, uh, my arcane, my magic missile. Ah, uh, crackle butt was a very good take. Slime form again, use a mana potion. I want Starfire pretty soon. Yes! Alright. It would be nice just to do slightly more damage with our... our backup spell here. Also, Shield Burn would be a great grab, huh? But that's a level one. We want to take anything that is, uh, more than a level one. So we'll take damage. And we'll take max charges. And we'll grab the other upgrade next floor. Alright, double mana potion. Nature Circle. Enchantment Circle, double mana potion, a golden stopwatch. That's looking like the floor for me. Double Disruptor and a Ruby Heart. As an imp collector and a troll geomancer. This one has no mini bosses. Layout is atrocious though. That would be such a bad floor. And are those bat dragons? I hate bat dragons. Alright, pretty tight confines. Which is fine by me. As it's at least open hallways. Just a couple of choke points. I'm gonna start right up here. I'm gonna let you guys blow that up, because if I shoot that again, it's gonna explode. Alright. Is that a Yeti? Oh, yeah. Crackle Void. Working overtime. I can see that lightning shooting around. I think the slimes are on their own. Yep, there we go. And victory. Alright, what do you got for me? Nature Circle with an Oculus. We don't really need an Oculus, but we could take advantage of it. Enchantment Circle. Again, not a lot of things that are helpful to me. I do have two Disruptors again, and this is a good floor for it. Nature, Fire, or Holy. I want something for my Magic Missile, which is Arcane or Sorcery. Dragon horn! Uh, we're we're mother to slimes. Nature or fire or holy. So that doesn't help me. Nature, sir. Holy or dark. Just give me something for my oh nature. Sorry, dark or lightning or nature or arcane for each fifty damage dealt. Summon a butterfly. There we go. Something for my main spell. My secondary spell. Sorry. I have very sorry slime form. You know I didn't mean that. I know you're number one. Please don't hurt me. Ice Wizard. Before I jump in there, pop in a magic missile, shield burn, and range. I am now done upgrading that. Now I can just melt his shields with one shot. Slime Dragon, they exist! It'd be really cool if they did. They should add Slime Dragon. Start here. 
He was dead before I even got to do anything. Chained explosions when they go off. Oh, 100% resistant arcane. Ruining my fun. The lewdest of dragons. to use a mana potion anyway sooner or later, so we'll just let the slimes do all the work. I say that even though my dogs are still here too. I'll start heading toward the shrine. And all dead. Really slime form. I think disintegration's better. Like they're doing 30 damage pretty routinely because of how many there are. I'll put it on here. How much damage do I do? 21. For every like two and a half shots. And once I take something like Arcane Lord, Lord of the Void, we'll get it for every two shots. Hands of sorcery. One of the spell deals damage. You gain 100 resistance to that type of damage. Uh, one of each potion type. A chaos spell would be nice to own. Elixir of youth could be nice just for extra shots. Alright, what's the layout of this floor? Tentacular demon? Dragon, rather? Yes, it also should be proccing the lightning as well. All right, I hate the layout of this floor. What was I wanting there? Just the Elixir of Youth. I'd rather have a Chaos Spell, honestly. And look at this floor, easy peasy. Feathered Serpent reincarnates a couple of times. It'll be annoying, but it'll die. It will die. As breath weapons. I don't want to be close to that. I think right here might be far enough away that I don't need to worry too much. Does it fly? Living, holy, arcane, teleport. So it does, oh, it's random tile, that's fine. Heal ally, arcane breath. It does fly. Well, doesn't really matter where I pop in then, huh? Ice wizard, maybe we'll, we'll pop in right next to you and obliterate you really fast. And already dead, poor guy. Butterflies are my butterflies, and they do arcane damage, of course. Perfect. How much arcane? 100% arcane resist, of course. Great, I missed. In a game that's turn-based, I managed to miss. No, Joe, you did not. All right, this half of the map is mine now. Fuck, Feather Serpent was coming right at me. Easy, easy floor. Why wouldn't butterflies be classified as demons? Have you met a butterfly? Void Lord. 
just a nice grab at this point. What is what what else do we want right now? Void spikes, whenever when your arcane or undead allies take damage. Deal arcane damage to source. That could work. That's kind of low on the list though. Shock value, when it dies to lightning damage. Another random enemy in line of sight goes berserk. That could work. We're done with Lord things, uh, except for Lord of Enchantment, which would be Arch Enchanter. Charges, duration, but doesn't help that much. So Starfire, we definitely want Starfire. Half your fire damage is redealt as Arcane. I think that might be the next one, so six points we want. Two floors. Two floors we take Starfire. Fiery Judgment is also nice, but not as important as Starfire. So Starfire is the next one, I think. Starfire... Melting Armor... Oh shit, where's, uh... Where's my good friend? Prince of Ruin. Just for more chain damage, we want that, I think. Cast the last of your arcane spells. Eh. If we do take Blink, it might be nice to grab Glittering Dance. Regain a charge of a translocation spell and summon two fairies. Yeah, that might be nice. But we know what's next now. Nature Circle. Sorcery Circle. Enchantment Circle. None of these are what we want. Useless to us. Portal key. Ruby heart. Chaos bell. Okay. What's the floor look like? Bad layout. Very bad layout. I'm gonna disrupt. We have four portals. Let's see what we get. Double mana potion. Conjure circle. Death Dice, Mana Potion, Chaos Spell. Ugh. Bad layout. Wait, is Starfire a fire one? You know what? No, we'll only have three points when we get there. Shit. We'd only be able to get something like White Flame or Void Flame Lantern. That's a bummer. So this is the best item, but really a bad layout. Oh, fine. This one's pretty bad, too. Void Flame Lantern's nice, but the problem is Magic Missile is a level one spell. So it doesn't proc. Like, it turns on and then it goes away immediately. We don't really take advantage of it. Slime Form lasts for a few turns. We would need a couple more, like, mid-range... Mid-range arcane spells to really make that one f work good. So the two floors I like best are terrible. I don't think I could really get a good number of dogs here, huh? No, every hallway is exactly one wide. This is trash. This is terrible. This one, at the very least, I can get some dogs. But, you know what? It's better to just go to an easy floor and win than it is to worry about that kind of stuff. So this floor. A much more doable floor. There's some shitty things that we're going to have to deal with, but we can handle that. Fifty percent resistant arcane, a hundred percent resistant arcane. All right, so you get. Oh. More butterflies. Fucking deal with it, loser. Who 
did the randomize everybody spell? You, demon sorcerer. I always forget that that's one thing you do. I see you listed, I'm like, they're not that bad. I shouldn't have to worry about him. There we go, problem solved. Those little bone shamblers are scary because they do create big chain reaction explosions like that. Oh. My life flashed before my eyes there. Oh, those chain reactions are something else. Resistant Arcane can't shoot you. You're excited about Dragon's Dogma 2. That's probably not overly common, but at least Tom joins me in that excitement. I'm kind of excited for it because... I want to like Dragon's Dogma 1. There's enough, like, clunkiness to it that I kind of bounced off. Nice thing about sequels is, uh... Oh! Again, Bone Shambler is terrifying to be near. But only for this build. It's because of how we built this. Uh, the thing with sequels is they usually fix that kind of, uh, clunkiness. Yeah! Fucking love those chain reactions. Dragon's Pogma. <laughs> he deserves to be excited sometimes, yes. Three teleporters. Portal disruptor. Oh, whatever floor is easier. This has a lot of shamblers, which again... Uh, uh, terrifying! Make me burp in fear. No, I'd rather get the teleporters. Pennsylvania. The big PA. More like the big PU. Well, blew all my dogs up with that shot. That was unfortunate. I need to be nowhere near a shambler. Those explosions are right proper scary. Okay, here goes big booms. Ooh. Oh, God. Mm. Mm. Sorry, do you have light of sight of me, you piece of shit? Y'all want to die? Well, only the void slabs remain. More man, I need you to die. Get out of here, spore man. Good Christ. Shamblers. You make me frightened. Void slimes, do it for me. I'll hide in the corner. Thank you. At least with Jersey, you get to hang out with, like, you know. Ooh. I don't remember the names of any of the Jersey Shore people. <laughs> Poopy? After fire damage, redoubles arcane. Yeah, more explosions. Why not? Double healing. I like that floor. Springsteen. Let's try to think of Jersey Shore humans. Oh, good lord, this is a scary floor because they're immune to most of my damage. 
Well, never mind. It's a great floor for me, but not not the floor for me, I guess. That's an easy floor. Can I get Max Dog? I'll accept like one dog less than Max Dog. That's one dog less than Max Dog. Part of the level melted around me. A lot of dogs were lost in that explosion. Fifty percent resistance to arcane. So annoying. Just die. And another good chain explosion that killed all of my minions. Excellent. I'm getting the hell out of this corner. I'll spend my time over here, thank you very much. Where I will Chaos Bell. And Healing Potion. And I'll try to move away from all the Chain Reaction Explosions. While more slimes are born. The explosive chain reactions are fun, but highly detrimental sometimes. Especially now that fire is being redealt as arcane. And arcane's being redealt as lightning. So those explosions are doubly scary. Do you need me to slime form again, guys? Or do you want me to shoot? Me? I'll make you some friends. You look like you could use more slimes. Yeah, I'm jealous of your Japanese market. Like, we have uh, some international markets around here, but they are very general, so I can't get very hyper specific Japanese things that I would like. Which makes me sad. Go get him, boys! There he goes. Bing, bing, bing. All right. Final duration. We're on floor 22. Hyper specific Japanese wish list. Like, delicious uh, melon pan would be nice to have. Pretty much like any and all Japanese baked goods that you can only get from like a Japanese market. The list is massive. Even better if, like, Tom's Market does have a place that cooks food. So, like, katsudon. Japanese curry bowls. Oh my god. Beef soda, what'd you dream about? All the delicious Kit Kat varieties. I mean, Sakura candies are great. Very seasonal. But I'll eat him. Ah, oh, hideous fleshy masses. Scary boys. <laughs> Most because they look like large naked men who are coming your way. Do I have any more disruptors? No, I do not. You have a hard on for Kit Kats over there? Not not as much as you would think. Like 
The only place you can really find a lot of those weird or interesting flavors are specifically at Kit Kat stores. Like, uh, Tokyo Station has a little Kit Kat shop built in. And then there's, like, the Kit Kat, like, flagship place. Otherwise, it's more variety than you would expect, but not, not as much as you would want. You're more likely to find, like, uh, traditional Japanese sweets are more prevalent. Roasted oolong tea, oh yeah. Let me know how it is. You bought your cut run. Oh, Pax Clank got killed by sludges. You were forced to do hard labor. Kit Kat stores, you're not making as strong a case as you think. Kit Kat stores exist here in the States too, Creed Boy. <laughs> Hundred percent resistant to arcane, you son of a bitch. Will a chain reaction go off and kill me? I don't think so. I think we're safe. That's a weird dream, Beef Soda. That's a CVS. It is an alarming dream. 100% resistant to arcane. Well, that's a problem for me. Only 50% resistant, huh, Mr. Starfire Sorcerer? See you in hell. Bless you, masses. It's just a pile of things healing. The enemies end of the friendly units. And I'm watching the lightning just arc across everybody, which is fun. Like, some of these enemies are way out here. They've already taken a decent amount of damage just because of some of the skills we take. Great, just on the general. <laughs> Which one is it that's doing that? This one. No, it's 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 the disintegration shrine. That's what's doing it. Disintegration shrine is doing a good amount of work. Yeah, disintegration. Like my slimes are causing so much damage across the map here. Like, this is going to die to just disintegration damage here. <coughs> it got a shield? How? Nine. Two. And it's gone. Like, I didn't attack any of these spawners. They're just dying to weird damage from stuff. Oh, that was a chain reaction explosion that removed all the non-arcane slimes. Stupid fleshy masses, just die already! There we go. There's another fleshy mass out there.
Okay. What remains? One spider? Oh. It's a spider that's immune to arcane damage. New slime types, go! This could be a problem. If the, ar if the arcane slimes propagate too much, I won't be able to harm the last remaining enemies. Come on, slimes. Thank God. That was almost a problem. Jim, what's going on, buddy? Okie dokie, then. Ruby Heart might be nice. Lord knows none of these are helpful for me. Icy Shrine doesn't help me. A Stone Shield's fine. Nothing but a Lightning Circle doesn't help me. And a Ruby Heart. Oh, Shamblers, no! Hopefully the floor is bad. Ah, uh, the layout's not that bad. Ooh, Sirloin Tips! Nice. Quick, someone give me a Sirloin Tip. Alright, Arch Conjurer, Starfire. Whenever an enemy takes arcane damage, all holy minions in line of sight of that enemy redeal 50% of the damage is holy. Not gonna help me. Whenever you cast a fire spell, no. I see vengeance. Whenever one of your minions dies, up to three random enemies in a five tile radius take ice damage equal to half the dead minions' max HP. Don't microwave them when raw, thank you. An acidic marinade can help balance the flavor of a fatty cut of meat. Another good sirloin tip, thank you. Targeting a frozen minion, no. So Icy Vengeance might be good. Three random enemies in a five tile radius take ice damage equal to half the dead minion's HP. That's again, just more propagated damage floating out there. Searing heat. I think I might want Prince of Ruin, though. Yeah. Prince of Ruin. I fear the Shamblers. I really do. Oh, all the gates are Shamblers, too. God, no. Of course, of course it's a bad layout. Boulder Chuckers in there. Now this is gonna be a pretty short floor, I think. I think we can handle this one. It's not a great floor for me, but oh no. Volcano Turtles. Three meteors each turn at random location. All these floors are bad in their own special way. And this has a Mischief Maker. If I pop in right here and kill this fast, we might stand a chance. Phoenix is- oh god! 25 fire damage within a big old radius too. Oh, shit. One, two, three, four, five, six- ah! Oh! This is gonna be a bad floor. This is terrible. There's nothing here for me. Except it has terrible things I don't want to fight. Oh, more phoenixes. Well. As long as the chain reactions aren't happening in my face, I might be able to survive. Especially if I teleport before it gets too bad. Kill it quick! Alright, this is our corner.
<sighs> Those chain reactions. They're very good and also incredibly scary. I really like this build a lot, but like I should have I should have listened to my gut. Bone shamblers. When they die, they split. That wasn't even hubris. Like I even said out loud, like there's gonna be some scary chain reactions if I could teleport out. But I thought I was far enough away. So that was a great run. That was floor 24 again. This uh, build seems to make it to floor 24 and then we run into situations like that. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And here it is, 24. So what happens is this Shambler splits into two, and then those two split into four each. So you get eight, and all of them explode in a radius around them. But when they split, they have to occupy tiles. So if, like, one's over here and it splits, you would think, okay, you're safe, it's far away, but... One Shambler, two Shambler, three Shambler, four Shambler, five Shambler, six Shambler, seven Shambler, eight Shambler. If there's multiple Shamblers next to each other, they're all popping and they're occupying tiles that are unoccupied. So they just force them into your corner. So this happens. From these like Shamblers over here, they completely obliterated all of the landscape around here and did 200 and like 15 damage to me. But... You can see, uh, it's not a bad idea. 1900 damage was done before, like, we barely started that floor. That was 2000 damage done by Arcane Combustion alone. I mean, Crackle Voids, Prince of Ruin already doing some good work. I only cast Magic Missile a couple of times. Disintegration was already doing amazing work. And how much damage happens? 107 via player. And then the other 86 were from uh, the multiple phoenixes around. 